Frozen in time. That's the feeling for many within the Jewish community ever since Hamas attacked Israel. The morning of the 7th, everybody remembers like where they were at that moment. Active duty and reserve soldiers alike immediately packing their bags and responding to a call that had not yet come. He just picked up his, you know, his gear, got all his things for reserve duty. His friend from his crew picked him up and he drove straight to the base. And he got ready in like five minutes and he gave me a hug and uh, he said, I'll take your car and, uh, and I'll bring it back. Next time I saw my car, it was three and a half months later. Family members left behind to wonder, worry, and hold down the home front, then and now. I guess I can say it's been a really rough time, a really restless time, a very insecure time, a time where dad most of the time is not at home. And also when he is at home, we are not sure when they will call him um, to go back to the reserve. When her husband deployed, Yael, also a reservist, felt most useful at the military base. A dentist by trade, she put her skills to work, despite being pregnant with her first child. Like, we're all, let's say, dentists, teachers, I don't know, lawyers, but then we have like this separate parallel person where we're in the army, and this is our job in the army, when we're medics and we're officers, it's like a whole different person, and you know how to be this person and this person, and you can switch like and in, in, you know between these two different people. Amira used art as an outlet for her fear and anxiety after her son deployed. And I started uh, just uh, dotting leaves, and and I saw that I was dotting away, and suddenly four hours passed, and I hadn't thought of anything. So honestly, all I did for the first month is dot leaves. For about 12 hours a day, I have thousands of beautiful leaves dotted. And, um, and that was my therapy. What started as a distraction for her mind became an inspiration for others overcome by war when it was featured in a Knesset exhibit on the resilience of soldiers and families. And I see for my friends, we all go through the anxiety, sleepless nights, you know, taking it medication, having panic attacks, uh, uh, trying to be strong when the boys come back from the army and, you know, holding ourselves. And as soon as they leave, you know, we fall apart again. With her husband still cycling through deployments, Crystal knows that feeling all too well. Still, each day she puts on a brave face for her four children. At one side, life just keeps on going. You know, the children were in school, now they have vacation, they have like a, a program that they, they do uh, things in the vacation. And then, then suddenly there will be rockets fired and you're saying, hey kids, we're okay, everything is fine. And you know, you know it's not okay and you know it's not fine. And you're all the time acting. The nation, surrounded by enemies, is familiar with living under constant threat. Although this fight is putting the resilience of the Israeli people to the test, making it necessary for outside organizations to step in and provide critical support. Throughout the war, the Atalef Foundation has worked to meet the needs of Israel's most elite special forces unit and also their families. Crystal, Amira, and Yael are all part of this community. So I know the Atalef Foundation very, very well throughout the years. and. Constantly, they were reaching out, trying to do like, you know, different uh, projects and support groups. And there was like a phone call that you could always call uh, also for, you know, if you want to ask questions, if you want to know what's going on. Psychological sessions for the woman that organizes night, nights out. I was in night out, I think in March, they took us to some kind of stand up nice performance. It was really nice. And I met the other woman over there. And I, I guess it was the first time that actually went out since uh, since the 7th of October. The foundation's sister organization, American Friends of Israeli Navy SEALs, has raised millions for soldiers and their families since this current war began, including support for 500 spouses who are managing their homes, families, and careers alone, and a reintegration program for when their loved ones finally return. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, Washington.